It just takes you to another world. 11 out of 10. Be careful with the bones. The more I eat it, it just gets better and better. 11 out of 10. That's kind of a bummer. But they have everything. Oh, hi. <laughs> Definitely 10 out of 10. This looks amazing. Whoa, it actually just kicked me. <laughs> this is fire, wow. Very convenient. The pennita ka Really good combo. Oh my god. You're gonna love this. So cute. <laughs> We're really impressed. Expect to spend some money. What's up, guys? So for today in this video, we're here back at One Bangkok, the newest mall in all of Bangkok. And they say One Bangkok has over 250 food stalls. And we're going to try them all. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to try a lot of different food options. So when you guys come here, you guys can decide what you guys want to eat. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Let's go. When we research online, these two items were like on everyone's photo. So we had to get them. So one of them is this one, and then the other one is this. And then on top of these two items, we ordered the black sticky rice. So number nine is Tung Sua spicy rice noodles with crispy pork crackling. That one's 105 baht, which is this one right here. And then number 10 is grilled beef sirloin served with Thai spicy tamarind sauce and homemade spicy fermented fish dip sauce. 329 baht for this. When we first came here, this place was jam-packed. So we decided to come here early when no one's around, just so we could try it and be able to explain it to you guys the best that we could. Let's head over to Oju's. We actually wanted to try them last time. So since there's no line, let's check them out right now. Can I use it here? Tomorrow. Ah, uh, tomorrow? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the... Do this one. Okay. This one? Yeah, this one. And then you guys have another deal, like a promotion. Promotion? No. No promotion right yes. now? Okay. Then just that one. Just one, please. Can I scan for the points? So these are their signatures. And this is the menu. So here they even have like a pumpkin seed bread and then chicken floss wheat bun. So people are starting to line up already. So I signed up for their membership this morning. It looks like I can't use the membership coupon until tomorrow. That's kind of a bummer, but it's okay. Maybe we could come back and get something else. So here is our first dish. It looks beautiful. Let's try this. Okay, looks like a good bite. Wow, very flavorful. And then the taste, it's actually very strong. It's savory and I can also smell the fish, like fermented fish sauce. But overall, very fragrant dish. And then the noodle is kind of warm too. So that's kind of different. Taste, I would say 8.5 out of 10. The dish itself, it looks like it consists of like pumpkin seeds, there's tomatoes, there's fried pork skin. This is very interesting. The one thing I love about this dish, it's so colorful. It's beautiful. Let's try it out. Mm. Whoa, that's so like lemony, zesty, savory. You get so many flavors just in one bite. And I love the crunch. That's a very nice touch. This one, I gotta say, this is like nine out of 10 for me. It does have a nice kick. 
and it lingers in your throat. So it looks like Isan, like North style Thai food is pretty spicy, I'm assuming. Maybe, huh? Because we ordered a Nidnoi. Yeah, we only ordered a Nidnoi spice level, but this one actually has a kick. To me, this is probably spice level six out of 10. It's not bad. I could handle a little bit more, but this is good. One more thing about this noodle. I think this is like similar to like naengmyeon noodle. Yeah. It's, it's actually it really hard to bite off. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's not bad. Personally, the flavor, this is amazing. I like this. We also got some sticky rice. Let's check it out. Wow. I feel like the rice just elevated the flavor. Put them together and you get 10 out of 10. This is fire, wow. Their menu option is just insane. They have everything from appetizers, main dish, grilled section, fresh fried section, dessert, drinks. The option here is endless. And I didn't know they had so many different locations. This is all of their locations. This is insane, wow. We just got the beef sirloin. This looks amazing. Let's dig in. So this is how it looks like. Honestly, I don't know what sauce is what, but I'm gonna try this one. This one looks very, very interesting. This must have like some sort of like fish paste or something like that. It's not bad. It has a little savory flavor, not too spicy. The meat is also very beefy and tender. It's cooked really well. Let's try the other sauce. This one looks a little spicy. <laughs> oh, this one kind of has like a sweet, sour, savory flavor. Oh, it might be tamarind sauce. Oh, is that what it is? Mm. I don't know which one I like more. They're both pretty good. I think overall, this is like an 8.5 out of 10 for me. We got the beef medium and you can see it. They cooked it perfectly. All right, my turn to try. Let's dip it in the spicy sauce, Anthony says. Mmm, oh, very tangy. Yeah. The beef is actually very nice. And the sauce, whoa, it actually just kicked me. It's definitely on the spicier side, so. I would say the spice level for the sauces, maybe six to seven. So if you can't handle spicy, probably ask for something else. I don't think you could handle it. But the meat quality is nice, very beefy and tender. I like it. I'm gonna actually rate it nine out of 10. So I had to hurry up and get Oju because last time when we were here, the line was insane. They said the wait time was one hour. Today, I was one of the first ones. So Ojus and Zap Ili, they're both on B1 level and they're actually right next to each other. Very convenient. I don't know about you guys, but this is so pretty. Like totally Instagrammable, right? Instagram worthy is what it is. Let's try it. That's actually really nice. It has avocado inside, so I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I taste like banana or coconut. This is really good. This was 270 baht, so what is that? Like seven, eight dollars? Yeah. For Thailand, I think this is like really expensive, but quality is there. I don't think it's all hype. I think you guys need to try this. For me, this is 9.7 out of 10. The negative 0.3 is for the price. Let's try it, guys. Oh. It's nice, right? Yeah, this smoothie is actually very clean tasting, very healthy. It doesn't taste artificial whatsoever. And yeah, you're right. The quality in it is there. It literally reminds me of smoothies like from the States, yeah. from at like a health juice smoothie bar. Yeah, not Jamba Juice. No, 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 no. And they don't add any sugar either here. So I love that. That's pure quality. This is really good. I'm gonna have to give this a 9.5 out of 10. Honestly, so far, these two places, they're a hit. Mm -hmm. They're not a miss for sure, I'm gonna tell you that. But the one thing I can tell you though, is that the quality is there, but the price itself, it kind of justifies it. So if you have a certain budget, these places might not be a good place, but hey, if you guys are coming to one Bangkok, expect to spend some money, okay? So for the total for Sip Ili was 499 baht. Not bad, not bad. From our last visit, something has been on my mind ever since we left one Bangkok. Can you guys guess what it is? Like, I can't get it out of my mind. I'm gonna have to try it. <laughs> right here guys, Evie's cookies. They look so good. 
even their names. Creamy Cloud? I don't know which one to get. They all look so good. I know. They're so fat and <laughs> delicious looking. Oh yeah. Alay aloy soup cup. The penita ka ochi cup. Ochi. Ah, yeah. the ochi, which is like the original, right? Yeah, the chocolate 140. chip. I think creamy clouds is gonna be good too. That's too much cookie. I know. Then uh, how nun cup? Ochi. Ochi penita. Yeah, yeah. By the way, guys, this cookie is 140 baht. They range anywhere between 110 all the way up to it looks like 170. Wow, these are cheap cookies, yo. For the most part, one of these cookies is like $4 USD, but they're huge. So let's check them out. So it looks like they oven bake it for you. They also have a promotion, buy five, get one free. Here are all the different flavors. So I was just telling Anthony, the pistachio cookie looks amazing here. They all look good. <laughs> you know, like... Initially, I was so tempted to buy five of them. But I'm like, I don't want that much cookie. When's the last time we had a cookie? It's been a while. It's been a while. So, we only got one, guys. We only got one. Let us know if you guys have tried this cookie place. And what's your favorite? Mm. Now I'm curious to find out, are there any other locations within Bangkok, Thailand? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. So we hit three spots that are all next to each other. I love the fact that they put it in the toaster oven. They asked us, so we could have passed that up. The one gigantic cookie. Whoa, that is so ooey gooey rich. I feel like there's like 20 pieces of chocolate chip in here. It is so rich. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is jam packed. If you like fat rich cookies, you're gonna love this. This to me, I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. This is wow. fire. But you're not gonna be able to eat too much of this. Your diabetes is gonna go up the roof, you know what I'm saying? No, seriously, this guy's really heavy, but it's really, really simply delicious. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go home and work out for about two hours. <laughs> Wow, this is good. So the cookie was 140 baht for the chocolate chip one. Some of them do go up to 170 and 180. I was actually wondering why they gave us a spoon. I think because of that reason, because your hand is gonna get covered in chocolate. Oh my gosh, wow, that is rich. One cookie was more than enough for both of us. I think that bite already did the trick for me. <laughs> I don't know if I could eat any more, but that is good. Wow, I'm gonna match your 10 out of 10. Evie's cookies, you guys have to check it out. It's amazing. So far guys, three of the locations we went to, they're a hit. No misses Definitely. so far. No misses. Wow, we're really impressed. This is how you do your opening. Brand new mall, all the places that we went to so far, fire. Right across the cookie shop, it's called Hatoy. So it must be a Korean restaurant. Let's go see what they serve because there's a lot of people here. So they have some good side here, which is pork belly, veggies, rice. And then what is this? Bulgogi. And then we have... Osam bulgogi. So Osam bulgogi is literally squid and spicy pork bulgogi. They're priced pretty well actually. Yeah. That's not bad. It looks like this is their signature dish. Okay. They are priced really well. Yeah, they're not bad. Yeah. Noodle options, kimbap. Might have to try them one of these yeah. days. Yeah. There's Zafran over there. BKK bagels. The New York Bagel Experience. Honestly, guys, we have yet to visit New York, so we wouldn't even be able to <laughs> be the, like, we wouldn't be able to judge correctly. Mm. You know? So one of these days, we definitely need to go to New York, try their bagels. And pizza. Everything. We have KFC here. If you watched our one Bangkok full tour, you know we had KFC. And if you haven't watched our one Bangkok full tour, Hurry up and go watch that. We'll make sure to put it in the description for you guys. Yeah. And also, don't forget to support us and subscribe. We made it to Yamazaki and we saw a ton of people getting this bread. This one or this one? Whichever one. Ah, uh, this one. Whoa, it's so soft. It just kind of looks like white bread, right? Yeah, but look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, it smells so good. You smell that? Wow, that thing is buttery as heck, yo. Wow. wow. Oh my gosh, 
They look so amazing. and soft. I'm gonna match it. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. This is definitely a hit. You have to come here and get it for sure. So far all the food spots that we checked out B1 level. Oh, let's try this guy. Oh wow. Do we have a new bakery now or what? 10 out of 10 for sure. The bread here is just perfect. The sausage, it had a nice snap to it. Oh, I loved it. And it was so juicy too. The cheese is not overwhelming. The sauce is not overwhelming. Perfect amount of cheese. There's really nothing to complain about this, guys. Wow, amazing. Mm, the snap? Oh, even their ketchup is like 10 out of 10. Babe, I think this seriously has just became my favorite bakery in Bangkok. I think so. Mm. Initially, we we're gonna take it home, but I can't help myself. It was too good. I gotta eat it. So, this one's fruit jelly, but this one says crispy jelly. Mm. I think you could try a sample over there. Okay. New ones so are what's here. What's the difference? So, I think this is the crispy one because it's actually really hard. Okay. Oh, really is hard. Is it like just, jelly? Just tastes like jelly. Oh, more like rougher jelly. Yeah. I wonder if you try that. Oh uh, my god. I might have to just put it in your mouth. That was kind of hard. Is it a cookie? Oh, it's like a pasty cookie. Oh. Yeah, I'm no? not a huge fan of that, no. Their cake does look really good. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Anthony. Oh, hi. <laughs> What's your name? Han, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I just watched your uh, cake. Did you? Oh, ah, look. Look. Just last night. Oh, really? This place is really good? This is my first time here. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Us too. I saw the pictures. They look really interesting. Yeah. So. Because I watched your oh. video. That's why I came here. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Huh? You're tall as I thought. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> You're a basketball player. Oh goodness. I, I play a little basketball, not a basketball player though. <laughs> Too proud. <crowded. laughs> okay. Nice meeting you. Check this place out. So it's turning, so it's cooking evenly. That's so smart. I love it. So overall, the concept is a pretty good concept, right? Mm. So it's turning because it's cooking evenly. Oh. Yeah. Got a clay pot and they look so delicious. Let's dig in. Woo -wee. Look at that. It gets so hot, so make sure to grab these little bowls when you pick up your clay pot rice. Let's try this. Mm, wow. It's very heavy on soy sauce and there's 
plenty of protein. So the chicken, the broccoli, I think these are like pork belly. Really good combo. The clay pot for me, 8.8 .8 out of 10. The rice is so crispy, toasty. They give you a lot of meat. They have vegetables like broccoli and also like their Chinese sausage. Very, very good. It is on the savory side, guys. So if you don't like your dishes too like salty, it's not might be for you, but it's well seasoned. For the most part, this one, I would probably give it an 8.9 out of 10. It's actually really good, but it's even a little bit more salty, even for my taste. But just drink a lot of water, guys. That's all I can say because the flavor really good it came with some sort of sauce so I'm gonna try some oh wow that sauce it's almost like a Thai style salsa oh. very very interesting packs a lot of heat because all those like high chili peppers, but well, that's a good addition right there. Make sure you add that in there. That elevated it just a little bit. 9.2 out of 10. The sauce is amazing. By the way, this was 239 baht, and the portion size is perfect. At this clay pot restaurant, they were probably the most like portion friendly out of everyone so far. Total was 239 baht, like Caroline said, and there was a huge line just to get the food, just to order it. It literally took me about like 10, 15 minutes just to order. And then after we ordered, it took us another 10, 15 additional minutes. So it wasn't too bad. It looks like they go through like their dishes really quickly. So this is one of the places that I think we would both recommend. Mm -hmm. Word of advice, when you eat this clay pot, be careful with the bones. I didn't know they were bones. I thought they were meat. So you could really chip your tooth. Be careful, guys. I already have like two of them. Check it out. Two bones. I mean, they're not small size either, guys. Right next to the clay pot place, it's called One Bowl. It looks like there's nothing but like healthy options here. I noticed they have like kimbap, sushi looking thing but they're veggie rolls at 99 baht. That dessert looks really good too. Smoked salmon with carrot. What is this place? I think it's called Millie Press. That's the best seller, the strawberry vanilla. give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> this is too damn good. The strawberry's good. The outside is so nice and buttery flaky like you mentioned. The strawberry is sweet. The cream is nice and creamy. It's like creamy custardy. Yeah. And like the sweetness, it just balances perfectly. There's nothing for me to complain about. And you saw them make it guys. Attention to detail. The intricate of this pastry is fantastic. Wow, I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. We weren't even gonna get this guys. We we're just walking by. We're like, oh, that looks kind of cool. All right, let's go try it out, right? Wow. It does get a little messy. I do have to say, this pastry can be really messy, but I don't even care. The flavor of it, it just takes you to another world. You're gonna thank me, guys. 
make sure you try here. Wow, this is a hidden gem. All in the corner, guys. And if you see, it's literally right next to the other bakery, Yamazaki. This little guy's store right here. The name of this place is called Hikari. This place is fire. This is really, really good. I stand corrected. This one, 10 out of 10. The more I eat it, it just gets better and better. Definitely 10 out of 10. This ramen shop is always busy. It was busy last time and it's busy again this time. Look at the queue on the side as well. Has anyone tried this spot yet? If it's good, let us know. And then the spot right next to it. This one looks popular too. Are you full? I'm pretty full. <laughs> I feel like we tried a lot of spots already. Yeah. But I think we should try maybe one more spot. We're gonna go to one more spot. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa, look at these guys. They're only about 10 feet tall, guys. <laughs> Whoa, a lot of people are at this place too. Whoa. I don't think we really looked into them. I don't even know what kind of no. food they serve. I don't think they have English name. Yeah. So guys, we came up to the third floor and oh my gosh, the people are everywhere on the third floor. Yeah. It's a full house. And the prices here at Sowery, they're not cheap. They're more on the expensive side, in my opinion. So this is the butter cake ice cream sample. Let's try it. Mm, it's very like creamy and smooth. Pretty good. We should get the ice cream next time. They gave it to me in this little container. It's so cute. Pink and yellow. Whoa. So we got the Dubai chocolate. It was 155 baht. And after like the fee, so it was like 171 total. macarons in Korea. In Korea, it's more like nice and chewy. Here, it's kind of missing that. The shells kind of taste hollow in a sense. It's nice and sweet. It does have a good Dubai chocolate flavor, but I don't know if I love their macaron itself. This one with the price tag, I would have to rate it 7.3 out of 10. This was kind of disappointing for me. It's good, but for the price, it's not hitting my expectation. Let's try it. Yeah, it is nice and chocolatey in the middle. But yeah, on the shell of the macaron, it's not that great. Yeah. It's a little bit like crunchy on the outside. Mm. And then it's missing that like really chewiness. Exactly. And with the price tag of about 171 baht, which comes out to like, what, $6? Yeah. For a macaron? Yeah, personally for me, this is like a 7 out of 10. I expected a little bit more because there's so many people like lining up for this. But I guess it really depends on the preference. If you like it nice and crispy on the outside and on the inside nice and chewy, it's not here. No. Yeah. But like I mentioned, overall, it's not bad though. But I would have to stick with 7 out of 10. If you guys have a good macaron spot that you can recommend us, please let us know. So far, I am missing that chewy like macaron shell. We are so full. We ate so much. We took you guys along with us. We hope you had a wonderful time. We hope with this video, you guys can decide what you want to eat, what you want to drink at One Bangkok, the newest mall. With that being said, thank you guys so much for coming along with us and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Peace!